This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wartazers.com. Today we got a performance review on these guys right here. This is the Jordan CP3.10. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get right into it. So the traction on these guys right here is pretty damn good. Not too good to where you're gripping the floor like crazy and breaking your own ankles, but they're good enough to where indoors, you're not gonna have too much problems with them. However, outdoors, I was slipping all over the place, which is a huge bummer because this rubber is actually durable. So it's like, this is one of those shoes that you could take outdoors and it would last you a long time. It just so happens that the traction pattern here just isn't conducive for outdoor play. It was a pretty big bummer. I was surprised, mostly because, like I said, indoors I was just fine, but outdoors, man, lateral moves especially, you're probably gonna slide. Now the cushion, once again, is that isolated four foot articulated zoom unit. I absolutely dislike this setup because of how thin and mediocre everything is. They bottom loaded as well, so you're really not feeling anything. It's just sitting under there, it's not doing anything. They're dime sized bags, it's a waste of zoom air. Luckily, this shoe right here has a decent foam setup, better than the CP3.9, so even though the cushion is exactly the same, the foam is just slightly more forgiving than those were, so it doesn't feel as bad as the CP3.9. 3.9 did. That's not to say that the cushion is still good because it's definitely not. That is something that they had a chance to improve upon last year with last year's setup and they chose not to. They chose to go exactly the same route and for whatever reason, you know, just wasn't a good idea. I really do wish that they would go back to their Podulon setup or their Podulite. Those were really great setups for Chris Paul's shoe. It was something different within the entire Jordan brand lineup and now it's just kind of much of the same where every shoe that features this stuff, they just suck as far as cushion is concerned. It's a bummer. Now the materials on the other hand, the materials are f***ing amazing. I cannot believe that they put the upper from the 29 in a low top shoe and then put it for $125. Like, that is awesome. I know that some people don't like this little rubbery thing right there. I happen to really like it. It cages the foot in perfectly. It's also not restrictive, so for anybody looking for that free-fitting fit that you get from a performance woven, you're getting that entirely, and then you just get a little bit more structure and support with that TPU wing. But yeah, I absolutely love these materials. It's just, it blows my mind that they've gotten to a point to where performance woven is so commonplace now to where they can put it on a slightly lesser valued shoe like this model right here. As far as their fit, they fit true to size. Their lacing system is pretty crazy. It offers really great lockdown, and I'm talking about like really great lockdown. Lockdown to the point to where I would say it's almost phenomenal. But getting your foot inside the shoe is a slight pain in the ass because right here, the uh, lace loops that are part of the actual lacing system, they actually are, are going all the way through, so it's one big belt, and then that's sewn onto the tongue here. And so until your foot is in there, they just don't budge outside of whatever you see right here. So however long they are, that's about as, as much extension that you're gonna get for you to get your foot inside. Now, once your foot is inside, you lace these bad boys up and they're not going anywhere. I'm talking about you're getting some of the best lockdown ever in a low top basketball sneaker and that is right here with the Chris Paul CP3.10. Now support on these guys is adequate. It's nothing crazy, but it definitely gets the job done perfectly fine. You have an internal torsional shank plate that you can't see, but it is in there. It's very small and it just kind of like helps a little bit. It's not as good as a normal shank plate, but it is just fine. And you got two little outriggers right there, which work nicely. A lot of the support is relying on that fit and luckily the fit on these guys is phenomenal. They've extended that TPU wrap from the heel all the way to the midfoot. So again, it's just kind of caging you in. You're not going to slide or buckle that material over. And when you have an internal TPU heel counter, just in case you need a little bit extra support as well. And that pretty much takes care of it. These guys were nearly perfect. I'm talking nearly, like the cushion is the only thing that is a bummer. However, if you're into court field and these are going to be ideal for you, if you like a little bit more responsiveness within your cushion, you like something that's a little more, more plush or more bouncy, you might want to look elsewhere. However, again, court feel this is where it's at right here this is a really great shoe despite the fact that it has very minimal cushion so thank you guys for watching thanks for all your support if you need any more information all you got to do is click the link in the description box below it's going to head you over to weartesters.com where you can find their scores their weight their price and all that kind of good stuff along with some of my additional thoughts if you have any questions that were not answered within the review all you got to do is leave me a comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching and until next time guys have a good one